This is some of the original artwork that I did years ago, and the vehicle in the background is what we call a WOG, W-A-O-G, and I named them after the Mercedes-Benz Unimog because I love them so much. So anyway, this is going to be a full-track vehicle. It would be all-wheel drive, all-terrain, four-seater, and just bulletproof. Could go anywhere. Well, we recently got a 3D printer. We liked it so much, we got two 3D printers. And I've learned how to run a CAD program called Tinkercad. It's an open source free pro program that anyone can use. And I made a tutorial, look on my channel for it. I mean, I, I made a ground level tutorial so that anybody could learn how to use this. It's really not difficult at all. So I printed up um, like a clamshell of the, the vehicle, the uh, WOG. I made a left and a right so that you could just sandwich them together and glue them because printing is a little bit tricky. You can't print things the way they really look. You have to print them in a special way. So anyway, I, I smacked a little bit of this Bondo around on this thing because it is pretty grainy and I wanted to cover up the grain. And then I mopped on a little bit of aircraft primer with a paintbrush because that stuff will stick to damn near anything. Fared it all in, smoothed it all out, and I spray canned in a little bit of uh, just over-the-counter primer. Got some fake diamond plate, cut it out, put it on there. Got some aluminum rails, and I shaped those in, and I fit them into the little holes. And I actually created this just like the original was. The original uh, wog that we built is so small you could fit it in your pocket. And, I mean, if you dropped it, it would just explode. <laughs> so this thing is, is pretty big, and it's rugged. It really rolls. You can zip it around the floor. You can let a kid play with it. It's really tough. That, that product that comes out of the 3D printers is pretty pretty cool stuff. So anyway, I took a picture of it, you know, just put it in the shop. I threw some dirt down, and I spray canned over the dirt, missed it over the body, smacked the tires back on it, and just did the edge of the tires, you know, just kind of get an idea of what it would look like. And I thought it looked pretty good, and then Justin walks in, and he goes, uh, it looks like the wrong perspective, like the wog is way too small. You know, you look at something for two hours and, you know, just, you'd go cross-eyed. I mean, to me, it looks like Steve sitting, you know, standing on a hill and that thing's in the foreground and it's lower than him. You know, but as soon as Justin walks in, he goes, ah, it's too small. I was like, fuck. Okay, so anyway, so then I did a, a, like a desert version and then Steve walked in and Steve goes, hey man, we should do like a polar one. So I'm like, okay. So we got to get some other tires and we're going to do one that's like white and gray camo. And it'll, you know, be like the polar version, like these wogs, you could buy them anywhere. I don't know. It just got out of hand. So anyway, so that's where we're at on the movie right now. And I'm going to show you guys in depth what we're going to be doing with the 3D printer for the movie very soon. And we're going to be giving away some of the stuff when we're done with the movie. We're going to let people actually have some of the props. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.